Hi, my name is Julia and I'm a recent grad of the class of 2020 from Johns Hopkins and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your pumpkin because if you're anything like me, then you hate like dealing with the mess of like the carving and taking out the insides and like the cleanup and this is a simple alternative to make your pumpkin look real cute but without all the mess. <laughs> And to get started, obviously, all you need is a pumpkin. Um, I chose a smaller size pumpkin just so it will be easier to paint. And then some white paint, some black paint. And if you're extra cool and extra fancy, then get some glow in the dark paint. It'll make your pumpkin look real nice and shiny at night. So let's get started. And so to start off, you're just going to drizzle on some of your base color. I chose black because the white would show up the best against the black and also because I was going to use some neon colors which I think would show up the best against the black as well. And don't forget to work on top of a surface that you don't mind getting dirty and this might take some time because you also have to wait for the pumpkin to dry before you can flip it over and also paint the bottom. And after your pumpkin's dry, then we're going to go paint on the little ghost shapes. You can use a reference if you like, but I just kind of made up shapes that I think ghosts would look like. And for this step, I also went over to ghost two to three times, just so the white was more opaque. And if you want to paint ghost at the very bottom of the pumpkin, you would also have to wait for all the top layers to dry before you could flip it over and paint that as well. And if you were planning to paint glow-in-the-dark colors on top of your pumpkin as well, then you would still need to paint the white layer just so the glow-in-the-dark colors show up a lot better. And I used some 2-in-1 glow-in-the-dark paint because I don't have a black light, so this would still show up with that one. And, but if you had one, it would be really, really bright. And I went in with white glow-in-the-dark paint just because I like white ghosts and also some green ones just to change it up a bit. And for the next step, we're going to paint on little ghost faces. And if you're like me and you have long nails, then I would be careful not to scratch out the paint because it is pretty easy to take the paint off the pumpkins. Hi, and so this is what the final product looks like, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Got some white ghosts and some little green ones just to make it a little more fun. And unfortunately, I don't have black light, so I can't show you what that looks like under that, but I did go ahead and look at this in a dark room, and I'm pretty happy that I was still able to see some fluorescence, and I'll insert a picture here to show you what it looks like. And yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy my little mini tutorial. Yeah, thank you for watching.